Hey everybody, welcome back to my playthrough on Strategic Command War in Europe. This is the Wargaming Guy, Louie, and I'm glad you're here uh, watching this one today. We're continuing on in our series. If you uh, haven't been watching these, you'll notice that uh, I'm in England. Operation Sea Lion is going along. I've also got myself down in North Africa, of course, and we have arrived at El Alamein after having a fairly successful uh, battle with the British here at least so far but in both places it's pretty touch and go here's the big strategic picture now last turn uh, the United States and the Soviet Union joined the Allies but they didn't attack nothing's going on and in fact I can't move into their territory so I'm a little confused by this, and I think I may know the answer, so let's just look right here, and sure enough, as you can see, we're at war with the UK, and oh look, Canada and the US, but not the Soviets. So apparently the Soviets are part of the Allies, but they haven't declared war on us. So now that puts us in an interesting position. Uh, my grand strategy, more or less, has been to try and knock England out of the war first by driving uh, into England and down here into Egypt. Uh, I'm hoping that I can um, kind of play them, stretch their resources out, having to defend two places at once. If I can knock them out, uh, then, of course, I can drive up into the Middle East and ultimately, especially if I can get Turkey on my side, we can come in on the southern flank of the Russians while we come in down here in the west. Of course, one thing I would like to do, too, and I was working on Spain pretty hard, and I don't know if they're going to join the Axis or not, is to knock off Gibraltar. But if if I knock England out of the war, then Gibraltar is empty, and I can send an Italian or a German unit down there and take that. So that will like close off the whole med. It would be nice to take it now, which is why if Spain comes in the next few turns, uh, then we can really seal off their access, except by going down here, and then you put your units on some hexes, and a couple of turns later, they'll pop up here. It will slow them down, and it will make uh, it easier to defend. So that's sort of where we're at at this point. Um, and uh, while I'm thinking of it, I'm just going to scroll out and see about this guy. Let's see. What's his stats? Supply 6, readiness 97, pretty good. I think I'm going to move him down here a bit. And just leave him out there. Meanwhile, we've got the uh, situation in England. And as you can see, some of my units have already moved. Uh, I've got some movement left in the rest of them. This guy has one strike left. And, of course, we've got London. And this is two strikes. Okay, so we're ready to go here. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can't. Uh, and we've also got this poor guy. But first, my first priority really is London. If I can uh, beat this guy up, we'll be in good shape. His entrenchment, 4 or 5, morale is 90. Yikes. That's uh, a big ticket to... Oops. Did I use these guys up already? Apparently, I did. Because they're not... Yeah, they're not doing anything. Okay, I couldn't remember where I left off the last game. I'm sorry about that. So these guys actually could strike, but, you know, who would want to? I've got to soften him up. And uh, obviously, that's not going to... Oh, wait a minute. How can I up? Oh, upgrade the town. Yeah. So these guys, I've already played up. So there's not. They're not. Nothing's going to happen there. I've got 612 points left, so I can check out that in a minute. And of course, yeah. Okay. So the big question is, when do I take on the Russians? Because the longer we just sit here, the more troops they can build. Now they're not picking up experience, but they are researching and they are. Uh, ooh, look at that. I can upgrade this. Oh yeah, with the anti aircraft thing. And they are, of course, they're researching and they're building tons and tons of units. So something's got to be done here. So first thing I want to do, since I've got some points on, and the Italians have points as well, is to check my research. Um, wow, look at this. this is the Germans. Uh, Long-range aircraft, I'm not researching, so that's going to have to spend some money on that. These two guys are pretty good. Logistics could be better. Naval warfare, I could take that on. Amphibious warfare, don't care. Artillery is out, advanced subs. Rocket weapons, you can see you can go a long way with rocket weapons. I, I'm sort of uh, indifferent towards that. Uh, ground attack weapons, though, I'm on two, and I want three for sure. And finally, anti-tank. I'm on zero. Oh, wait a minute. I've got... Wait. 
How can I be on? Oh, I see. I've not paid anything yet, but I'm on level two. Yeah. Hello. Okay. I'm going to leave that alone for the Italians. We got the research going. So it's really a choice between either aircraft or tanks. And at this point, I'm going to go tanks because they just don't have anything else. Now, one of the things I'm going to need is some garrison units for sure as I conquer territory, especially if, if I manage to conquer Egypt. Uh, I'm going to need some guys to stay behind and guard some of those empty places. I, I can't leave cores in all of them, but I can in some. So kind of breaks my heart to actually spend money on this, but it's got to be done. I don't need to give him any aircraft, I don't think, at this point. So I'll go back and do that later. Um, can I get one more? No. Not even with that? No. Okay. It is a pain to do that. I'd rather be researching other things, but that's the way it goes. Upgrade. Oh, I can't upgrade the... Oh, that's the anti-aircraft. I'm not going to worry about that right now. So here we go. Research or reinforce. And that's probably going to... Yeah, I'm down to almost no points left. These guys are still building. That's another reason if I hang on for a while, I might get more units and I need more units. So I don't really have enough to go in. I don't have the uh, headquarters units. I need at least three. Fours better. And I need a lot more than just two armored and one mech unit. So we're not going to attack now, which means we're probably not going to attack Russia until... Eh, Bush UK morale. Uh, until maybe spring. I don't know. We'll a lot of it's go it's mobilizing. So they're gonna attack us pretty soon is what that means. And of course if they I thought they joined last turn. Um hello. Oh now we're at war. Okay, well <laughs> I guess I don't have to worry too much about when to attack them. They'll probably be attacking me pretty quickly. And uh well, we'll just see what happens. Notice my MPPs have gone up. 699 this turn. That's excellent. The more the merrier. And of course, the more you take, the more points you get. So that's what we want. And now that the Russians have joined in on the fun and the Americans, look at that. There's been no invasion, but they still transfer the industry. That's something that they ought to really think about, not uh, allowing it to happen. Because I don't think they would have moved them uh, unless the Germans attacked. I could be wrong. Of course, I mean, no way to prove what they would or wouldn't do. But it just seems, I don't know. But, I mean, that's the script. And normally when they join, you attack. So, But right now we're going to see. Okay. Uh, they're getting antsy. The Ruskies are getting antsy, folks. <laughs> uh, we got to buy some real units next turn. That's for sure. Ah. Uh, hmm. I may want to pull that core back to the river line. Although he's entrenched, so I'd hate to lose the entrenchment, but... Oh, here we go. Good boys. Good work. Well, he missed, I guess. Yeah. Oh, my poor out-of-supply core over there near Plymouth is still hanging in there. Oh, beautiful. You dodged that one, too. I don't think you're going to dodge the uh, battleship that's sitting there waiting to eat your lunch. Oh, man. The Royal Navy has come in force. That's not good. Okay. Good. Waste your time on him. All right. They're going up there. It's going to be a while at this point, unless these guys move out. It's going to take a while to get more supplies in terms of reinforced troops over there. Oh, here come the Brits. It's actually, I think it's an Indian Corps, but whatever. Enemy contact. Okay, the first blood has been shed between the Russians and the Germans. Ouch. Ouch, ouch. I need to get to that guy. 
I no. Dang it. If I just I'm always thinking but this is the way it is, right? It's always if I just had one more unit. <laughs> well, you don't. And you, apparently at this point you're not getting one over there for a little bit cuz the uh here comes another one. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, they're definitely gearing up to come after us. Uh, that makes me wish I'd attacked earlier, which is possible, but it just... Holy crap, what do they have down there? It just makes me nervous. You know, the inner end with very few... Well, they're leaving. Yeah, go go ahead. Go, 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 go. Leave, please. Take your little CC unit there with you, and then I can get more guys easily. If not, I'll have to sink it one way or the other. Or at least make it pull back one hex away from the Isle of Wight. That would open up Portsmouth. Portsmouth against Plymouth. Okay, yeah, Soviet National is reduced. Or is, I mean, it's boosted by having the USA. Yeah, uh, I'm sure that makes you guys happy. U.S. supply ships are coming to Vladivostok. That's why you're happy. <laughs> Hmm. And over through Tehran. Don't worry, boys, if my plan works, British secure. Yeah. See, that's adding a lot of MPPs to Britain and full mobilization. Great. Urgh. Boy, I, I am a little nervous about the big plan that I've come up with because it could easily backfire on me. If I don't push Britain out of the war totally, or at least mostly, I'm going to be in trouble. But that's what it's all about, right? You take calculated risks and see how they work. That's what you do. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Okay, send an Italian expeditionary force alongside our German allies. Yeah, I thought we did that last turn. Did I somehow? I did. Somehow this is like repeating a turn. Well, that's weird. Okay, well, I'm sorry if that's what's happened here. I. This is just too weird. Okay, um, this guy. Okay, I'll take those odds. Let's see if my subs can get him out of the way here. Yep. Awesome. So now we can send supplies in. But first, I hate to use you. Nope. Boy, what's he down to? Morale 50. Uh, okay, good. I'm knocking his entrenchment and his morale down. That's what we want. There you go. Sweet. I love it. See, did I do him? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to risk this. I I may regret it, but... Mm. Yeah, let's pull you back, reinforce you. Now, give me some points here, boys. That's what we want to see. Beautiful. So now... Oh, yeah. Boom. Oh. Urgh. You're kidding me. All right, let's... You know what, if I... Yeah, let's just swing him around here. There we go. Hmm. Seven. Yeah, he'll be all right. So, London has fallen. That's, like, amazingly good news. Hmm. What is that guy? Wait a minute. Transmit three. Ouch. I can't get him there, but I can put you there. I want to pull you up to here. Ooh, oh, definitely. I'll take those odds any day. Okay, let's. we're going to bring you down here and see if we can't rescue this poor sucker. Good. 
Not so good. <laughs> okay. And he's not going anywhere right now. Um, nope, can't reinforce him. What's this guy looking at? Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, send some more guys over. No, we transport them over. There we go. And uh, I think that's about all we can do here for right now. Uh, what is the British morale, by the way? 89. Hmm. you got to knock morale way down to get anything to happen. USSR is at 104. What are we at? We're at 107, so it's pretty close. All right. Let's come on down to Africa now. And let's see what we can see. Um, well, let's soften this baby up. Oh, that'd be... See, I'm not seeing any other troops down here except for that garrison unit, which, I mean, there has to be more down here than that. Can he reach him? Oh, he can. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and advance. If I move him up, can he... Almost, not quite. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, well, that's all right. Mm, all right. Swing him around there. Beautiful. El Alamein has fallen. And we are in the outskirts of... Look at that. There's an anti-tank unit, and that's it, of Alexandria. Really? Come on. That's a little better. Okay, can this guy go? Yeah, good, he can. Give him a little flak support, flank support. I really do know how to talk occasionally. Uh, let's see here. Let's move him. Him. Yeah, we're going to force march him up there. Let's get the HQs moving. They're a little further behind than I'd like them to be. Well, that turn went pretty well. Let's get you in here so I can reinforce you. Beautiful. Now then, uh, let's check Italy out. We're okay. All right, and wait a minute. You. I'm going to bring you up to the eastern front, so let's pull you around there. Meanwhile, the Italian Corps, I think I'm just going to pull them down. S well, you're not moving very far. Let's just pull you down south. Ah, good, you're done. So we'll put him... Yeah, we got to go in front of Warsaw. Oh, sh shoot. He's right where I wanted to be. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to lose his entrenchment. What's this? Just the anti-aircraft upgrade? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and... Um, wait, no. This is the one. <laughs> Hello. Fortify. That's good. So let's go ahead and put you down here. Fortify. Yeah, that's good. All right. Uh, what do we got here? We've got, wow, his morale, his entrenchment's good. But he's like out there on his own with not much to back him up. So we are going to, yeah. Let's pull him there. And I like him closer, but for now. Because the Russians have... Airborne units, and I do not want to get an unpleasant surprise. Okay, research. I know I've spent a lot on research, but I really think that if you, in the long run, it pays off to max out or pretty close to max out your research. Uh, la, 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 la. Let's, you know, we don't really use heavy bombers that much. I'm going to go ahead and invest a little into rockets. And on the Italian side... 
ooh, I don't have enough to do anything really. Um, so let's just leave that alone. On the purchase side, here we go. Um, dun, 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 dun. See, tanks are out. I can't do heavy tanks. Um, I could do some mech units. Wow, 213 left. Oh, shoot, I took out all those things. Maritime. I could get a maritime bomber. If I conquer England, that would be nice, but that's a little soon. So let's look at just getting another core. If I can, no, nope, can't do it. All right. M moving on. UK morale falls. Yes, I bet it does. Yes, London has been captured. Oh, good. Even the Italians get excited. And the UK government moves to Manchester. Good sign. So that's our next big objective in England. Oh, wow. Production technology is up to three. That's excellent. For late 41, I think that's really good. I'll take it. Yes, indeed. All right. What are they going to do? You could retreat, you guys. They won't, probably, but I wouldn't mind if they did. Wouldn't mind if I could, like, swing around, like, here, somehow cut these guys off, take them out, and then drive up into this this area here. Once you get past Manchester, it gets pretty, uh, pretty thin. Ah, uh, there we go. Saw a British infantry unit down there near or in Cairo, it looked like. Oh, well, he pulled back, but that makes sense. It would make sense for them, actually, just to pull back to that river. There it is. Yeah, it's in Cairo. So first thing we got to do is take Alexandria, get that port, or ports, actually, and then uh, drive on and uh, see what we can do. There we go. My phone is dying, so I've had to turn on the power saving thing. That's how I time my videos. Oh, look at that. It gave me another couple of seconds here for <laughs> this game will hurry up. I'll go plug the sucker in. My plug is not far, but too far to do while well, this is going on. Probably. My recording setup here is not what you'd call spacious. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. The first real offensive move. And of course, it's aimed at the Romanians, who are basically nothing. Oh, okay. Yeah. I would not be surprised to see him push in the south. Although, I don't know if the AI is that subtle, since Berlin's the big prize. That's it, boys. Float like a butterfly. Sting like a bee. Oh, look at that. He comes right up in there to attack me. How dare you? Get him. Come on. I know he's a destroyer, but get him anyway. Or not. Okay, now I'm waiting for the battleships to come charging in. Oh, there. Wrong place. Right kind of ship. Yeah, you boys are probably a little nervous at this point. Because you... Oh, there we go. Man, if I can salvage this guy, it's going to be pretty lucky. And then i got to take Exeter and Plymouth. That will clear out that whole area there, and I can concentrate on what's in front of me, which would be nice. Really nice. Oops, I knew I was forgetting something. There's not much I can do down there. Not yet. Holy smokes, they've got two core? Wow. That's a lot more than what you usually see down there. Take that, you commie, you. Take that, you big fat commie. Ha. All right. Oh, here we go. Good. Get him. Beat him up, artillery. Hey, ooh, look at that. Sweet. See, that's why I'm not really excited about these anti- uh, tank units they don't seem to do that much at least and certainly not initially later maybe when you 
get them all researched up. But I don't know. I'm not that impressed. So, I don't, you know, we'll see how things go here, but uh, I don't know that I'll be doing much with them. All right. Yeah, here they go. They're coming up on us. It's September. It's an odd thing as the German, but bad weather would really come in handy right now. <laughs> because if they're going to attack and I'm going to defend while we deal with the Brits, uh, then, uh, you know, bad weather works better for me than for them, at least initially. Yeah. Hello. Wow. Okay. Come on. Let's go AI. I'm going to take Alexandria for sure. Probably won't do it, though, in this video. Time draweth near, as we say. So, but we got to wait. So anyway, if you have any thoughts on my grand strategy, by the way, stick them in the comments. Uh, see what you think. Which way would you do it? Soviet morale is boosted by the arrival of lend -Lease. Yeah, thanks a lot. And Pacific... What? Oh, I did not see that coming. That is bad. Maybe they'll go back in December if the Japanese attack? Yeah. I don't actually know. I've seen the transfer happen, but it's usually like late in the game. Oh, that's interesting. Well, <laughs> I made a lot more trouble for myself, haven't I? Yeah. Oh, here come my garrisons. Um, Let's see. You know what? I can't put them down there. It has to be in Germany, right? Yeah, duh. Okay, we're going to put some down here so I can get into France. I don't have that many, actually. Yeah. And we will put you... Oh, I know. Yeah, we'll put you here and put you in Koenigsberg. Italy. I hope I'm not getting overconfident here like Mussolini did when he uh, <laughs> when he got his charger ready. But I don't think so. There you go. Okay, 27 minutes in. Yeah, let's see what we're going to do here. Um, where did he? Oh, that's mine. <laughs> okay. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, can these guys? Yes. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. See, now that's what I'm talking about right there. Blam, Alexandria Falls. So now it's on to Cairo. Let's see. What, give this guy some experience. Ooh, it's going to take one point away from him. Boom. Oh, really? Okay. Um, a minute. Nope, that's it. Let's go ahead and put you over there. I want to send you down here. You are coming up here. Oh, good. I'll put you up here. And first things first. Let's. Really? That's all the further I can get my headquarters? All right. Come on, Garrison. Get your butt over there. We're going to need you. Okay. So Alexandria has fallen. That is very good news. Um, there's really nothing I can do over here um, that I can see. These guys, you know, the city's open. I've got no real troops to put there. So the big thing here is Egypt, taking Egypt, and then we'll deal with the rest of that later. Uh, over here, now that we have London, um, I'm going to bring some more air power over. 
Oh, look at that. And we need to deal with this. First of all, can I reinforce this guy? Oh, I can. Look at him. His morale's 19%. I'll bet it is. That's fine. I can't move him now. Okay, let's see. Can we get some air power on this guy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Um, you know what else we could do? Yes. It's time to clear this flank up. Ugh, that's not going to do it. I can't get any more air power on him, can I? Nope. Not going to work. Although I can fly him in here for next time. Hmm. Okay, now the question is... Can I switch a Rooney? Yes, I can. No, it's not going to do it. All right. We got him down, though. That's good. Let's see if I can reinforce. I can. can I, I can upgrade. What do they need for... Oh, I don't care about that. Okay, we are actually going to take... Well, maybe we're not. Look at Coventry. Yeah, we are. I'm going to reinforce him. And I'm going to let you sit there, but I'm going to reinforce you. Wait a minute. I can't... Can I upgrade him? Right? No, I can't. Because can't be right up against the enemy and upgrade. You can, of course, reinforce. So, um, but you guys... Yeah. Let's see if we can take Coventry. Nice. Oh, isn't that nice? I like that. So our whole, our uh, our whole, our uh, fronts a little, little holy. <laughs> Not as many units here as I'd like, but we're just gonna have to live with that and hope they can't respond. Uh, whoops! What about you? Upgrade. Yeah, let's get the long range. I need that. Okay, well, what's up here? Not much, really. This guy could go over, except pff, that stupid battleship and the destroyer there. And, no, okay, so nobody's going over this turn. Although we can... I'm going to run in a little over time, but hopefully you won't mind. There. Okay, um... Tell you what we're going to do. I'm, I'm going to stop the video right here, and we are going to uh, come back next turn. And you'll see uh, the rest of this, my turn here, and then we'll just keep on rolling. So thanks for watching, everybody. This is Louie, the Wargaming Guy, saying thanks for being with me today, and I will see you later.